Welcome back to Surviving in Alabama, guys. And my friend John, let me say, <laughs> it's on the list, brother. It is. It's on the list. I'm going to get this mess off. I got some, some, um, what is it? Joe Max? Yeah, I got some Joe Max. And I, and I got a sprayer last night. So <laughs> I got a new sprayer that I can spray and I'm going to clean my building. Uh, probably make a video on it. I don't know. If y'all want, want to see a video of me cleaning this off my building, uh, let me know in the comments. But anyway, all right, so today. What I'm doing this afternoon is uh, I've got to make a bit large screen. And I've got, so I have got this compost that I bought and it's a composted gin trash. I, I've never had any trouble with it before, but I'm having some trouble with my peas and beans this year. And I'm just not sure if that's it or if not, I haven't made up my mind yet. Either way, it's still good for corn. It's not gonna be wasted either way. But so I make large piles of compost every year, but out of those large compost, they shrink and they got all these sticks and rocks and whatever's all in it when I rake them up with the tractor, cause that's how I do it. So I'm gonna make something that I can screen out the topsoil, get the soil out of it and leave all the big sticks and rocks and whatever, whatever is left in there that's big, we're gonna screen it out. So uh, I have some materials. Um, uh, some of it was left over from other projects. Some of it is recycled and some of it is just uh, bits and pieces of other things left over. Let's go see what we got. Before we do, please hit that subscribe button. Uh, I'm trying to grow this channel. Uh, I'm trying to get all as many subscribers as I can. Uh, so if YouTube likes this channel, they will put it out in front of other people and I can grow and then maybe one day I get a little money out of it. I can afford to buy other stuff so y'all can watch me do it. All right, subscribe, like it, send it to your friends. Let's go. So this pile right here is left over out of a chicken tractor build that I did. And uh, I actually had intended on buying enough to do two chicken tractors. I just didn't do the, my original plan was I was gonna make like a meat chicken tractor that I could use for rabbits too. Well, let's look at the screen. So this is the screen that I have. I actually saved this from going to the, the uh, scrap yard. Uh, I helped a guy clean up uh, his property when he was moving and he was throwing away all kinds of stuff. And this is one of the items that I saved from going to trash or uh, scrap metal. So it's got a bad bend in it, it does, but it's, I'm gonna take a hammer and I'll kind of straighten it with a board and we'll straighten it out. And so that's the size it's gonna have to be because that's what I have to work with. I can always cut the wood so I don't have a whole lot of straw. I've got some hardware cloth, but it's not near this heavy duty. This is stick heavy duty stuff. It's really thick. So that's what we'll be building it out of. So this is what I have. Uh, got a rubber hammer here. And I'm just gonna try to straighten this out a little bit so, so I can get it to lay flat. So, Looks to me, well, let's see. It's roughly, it's four foot this way. Let's see if it's four foot that way. It is, it's just shy of four foot. So, so four feet square, I, I think that'll work. So I can probably make it like three feet 11, just to make it go so I've got something to grab on. So I think that'll work. I don't know if y'all notice or not, but you know, depending on where you get your lumber, you buy an eight foot two before, sometimes it's not eight foot. These are not eight foot, but I think these were studs that I bought, not actually two before. I mean, I, these are 92, 92 and, let's see, what is that?
these are 92 and 5 eighths. This is what I decided. So since I did buy, when I bought all this lumber, I was buying for different things. It wasn't this project. So I guess I'm just gonna use this. So I'm gonna cut them in half. That's 46 and a quarter. So well, 46 and a quarter, that's what, that's what it's gonna be. I am a fan of uh, drilling pilot holes, so I do that a lot. And yes, this is untreated lumber, but I don't plan on leaving it outside all the time. I do have another little shed that I can put it in. And when I get through, I'm just gonna put it in there. I, I'm, not, I'm not gonna use this very often, so I'll just keep it in there. It's not gonna sit outside, so it, it's okay. So, all right, so I got a square made. Well, I know this is not like a precision build, but I still like to check it. How do we know it's square? We check it with a square. So watch this. You take your square, and so you can, uh, you can mark right angles, you can write measurements, and you can mark what your measurement was as a straight line. So to check and see if it's square, this is half a square. You run it just like that. And if it fits in there without going back and forth, and there's a little bit of play in it, just a little bit, but it's gonna be okay for what we're doing. So you run it up there just like that, and if it fits tight and it doesn't move, it's square. Now I'm gonna lay, I'm gonna lay my wire up there and see how it fits. That's pretty good. I am gonna see if it's just a little bit long on one side, that's okay though. It's gonna be fine for what we're doing. All right, so I'm gonna take the hammer and I'm gonna beat it down around to make it flat and uh, then we'll staple it down. All right, I'm gonna uh, put a few staples on it. So this is what I did, see, I had a little bit of overlap right here. And so I took a, <clears throat> this board and I laid it up there and took a hammer and bent it up so it was straight all the way across. And then I just went on over with it and like that, all the way down and flattened it out. So that way nothing sticking out is gonna get my fingers. So I got them turned up on edge like this. That's gonna be the top. Now I'm more, this is the tops down here and this is gonna be the bottom over here, okay? So what I'm gonna do to make it strong is I'm gonna turn it flat ways like this and then I'm gonna screw it down.
that's going to wrap up the day. Uh, I'll come back tomorrow, and uh, I know tomorrow's Sunday. All I got to do is put legs on this thing and a little catch. It's not going to take but a few minutes. But uh, if not, you know, because tomorrow is the Lord's Day, uh, and I will be going to church, and my, my youngin's going to be there for a, for a good bit of the day. And so if I get a chance, I will, but I'm definitely not going to go out way out of my way to do it. If not, I'll finish it up Monday. See you then.